What's up, everybody? It is Ethan on, or Unknown Coden, and we are back with another episode of CodeCraft. In this episode, we build this, I was going to say giant, but mob farm with tinted glass. As you can see, we have mobs falling down. Right now, we have not collected that much, but we have some shulker loaders that will be loading our items and then spitting them out here. These are all the items that we can collect. So we have those, and then we also have witch drops. As you can hear, we have mobs falling down. We have some witch drops as well. These guys, for some reason, don't actually fall into the hole. We'll have to figure out that in a little bit. We fly up, we can take a look, or we can hit our faces. As you can see, we got a few layers here. We got eight layers. Right now, we're too close for anything to spawn, but it's just one of the flushing mob farms that um, Mumbo Jumbo made originally, except I modified it to be two by two. So if you want to see how we build this and what else we do in this episode, please stick around and let's roll the intro. All right, everyone, as you guys saw in the intro, today we are going to be going, or today we are going to be building our overall mob farm. But I want to start out here inside of our nether. Go. Triple kill. So we are on level 50. Um, for the next two weeks, I'm going to try to do 10 levels per episode or five layers of two. Um, and very soon we're going to be literally getting down through some of this like this is only too wide right here um, So I want to get down to around level 30. That is where the lava level is. Um, so that's why um, So in between building our actual stuff in these episodes, I'm going to be digging this stuff out Like I said, I should be able to get um, 10 layers done a week and then that means in two weeks in a couple weeks, we will have an episode of just clearing out the lava. But I want to delete this guy before we clear it. Actually, no, I'll delete the lava and then clear it that. We're going to need sand to uh, go around the edges. And it's a pretty big lava lake, so um, it's going to be interesting to get all of it gone. Uh, but we'll do the um, trick with whatever it's called. I can't think now. Um, gosh dang, what is it called? With scaffolding. Um, so I'm not sure how big of sections we're gonna do, but we'll figure it out as we go First we need to get down to that level first. Uh oh This one hit the farm that was close But yeah, I'm gonna head to the overworld I need to go on to my testing world and see if I can figure out how to do Lightmatica I have Lightmatica installed because I thought I was going to have to Use it to build in a shulker farm. Luckily I didn't uh, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to fly off, not fly off, but I'm going to go back into here, go over to the uh, overworld, go into my testing world, and figure out how many blocks I need, and then I'll be back with you guys after I have a good count. Also, I love this road so much, it's so fast. We are back in the overworld, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the item sorter and the... Um, the stroker box loader. I'm meant to get some of these and put in um, some slabs or stairs or something. Um, but we can actually go into the flat testing world to see what it's going to be looking like. So this is, I don't remember whose this is. I can actually take a look real quick. Um, let me take a look. This is My built by Borkin. So this bottom part is built by Borkin. This is just Impulse SV. The farm itself is going to be a bit higher than normal but we'll figure it out as we go um, but essentially this part will be up a little bit higher and then for example we'll have our blocks or our mob drops so we're going to build this unit right here i might uh i don't we can't quite fit this we'll have to whoops fill those manually but it is what it is so i'm going to build this part all up and i'll be back to build that guy we got the shulker loader and the um, item filter set up. I'm stuck underneath this somehow. Uh, we need to get the items in the item filters, uh, but it is what it is. So I have a list of things that we can get with this farm. So we can get bones and arrows from skeletons. We get rotten flesh from zombies. We can get gunpowder from creepers. We can get um, string and spider eyes from spiders. We can get bottles, glowstone, redstone, sugar, sticks, 
from witches and we can also get glow squid ink um so that's why we have 12 of these so um the only thing that kind of stinks about this is that you can't see what's inside this um so and we also can't get access to this i mean maybe if we break it and try to grab it but excuse me unfortunately we can't actually see what's going on in there so um that's tough uh what's next is we need to gather material to actually um you know build this guy like light right at this level right here ish we need to get some more um whatever they're called down and unfortunately this guy's going to go up in the sky a little bit higher than i had anticipated so we'll have to re-budget how tall this guy's going to be um, we might need to add some extra layers that way each step isn't too tall um so next we are going to get some more shulker boxes we need a lot um and actually i can show you guys what we need to get gather real quick so give me a moment so again i'll put our building supplies on but we need 26 stacks of slabs uh 22 and a half stacks of tinted glass that one i'm a little bit worried about we have all of this um and i'm also going to go and get more with this guy this guy we have more um we need 11 stacks of stone my game is like stuttering i don't know if it's my mouse being i think it is my mouse being strange i don't know if my mouse is like disconnecting or what's going on my mouse is being weird um but we need 32 buckets of water uh 36 dispensers 32 observers uh 28 repeaters 12 fence skates some dust some a lever and a comparator so we're gonna grab we're gonna get that stuff first i'm gonna try to see if i can't nope i was hoping i could get in there uh, i'm gonna try to swoop into our farm down here where oof that was almost bad i'm gonna go get some more whatever they're called make some choker boxes make some tinted glass and all that good stuff so this will probably go through the morning um, tomorrow morning and during the day i'll probably gather some more stuff and i'll see you guys whenever we're ready to build the mob farm Alrighty, we have what i believe is all the material in these boxes you might need some more hoppers here and there um, so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm just going to go ahead and time lapse because that's just how it's going to work best and then after we time lapse and build this up we need to fill the these boxes with shulkers which is why we have the shulker farm uh, and we'll probably have to remove that guy and stuff like that but we'll see as we get going um, so the six by six ring is where um, we're inside the six by six ring is where our whatever it's called it's going to go. So I might just like go up in one of these corners or something. I'm not sure. Um, but after we make the falling platform, we'll build up. I need to go check the test world real quick. But after that, we will be right into the time lapse.
after a bunch of work. It actually wasn't too bad to make. I think this is what it's supposed to be. Um, here is the moment of truth. So I think it worked. Let me double look. Let's see if it switches like it's supposed to. We got some glow squid in there, kind of like I expected. Um, cool. So now all we have to do is get our filters set up. Try not to smash my face. And there's already stuff coming in, which is rather surprising considering um, we don't have... It's pretty surprising to me that this is already working because we haven't lit up anything. Uh, it's definitely not going to work at night time. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. So now all we have to do is get some filler items. We need what uh, to, to do. Uh, 48 filler items and then one of each item that we have and then we're good to go. We're going to have to do um, at the end of this episode or after we get done filling these up is we're going to have to um, go and find all the caves. To do that, I'm just going to cheat like I did last series and um, go through and um, have a, what's it called? I can't think. That's kind of an issue. Hopefully they get bumped through. I'm about to go through um, in spectator mode and see where the caves are and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and get some named items. I just need 48, so I'll just grab some cobblestone. Hopefully that isn't a big issue, but yeah, the only thing that kind of stinks about this loader is that we don't have access to choker boxes, but it is what it is. So uh, hopefully this fills up somewhat quickly. My other farm filled up pretty quick, so it's all good. I'm going to have to monitor that. The other hole is three by three. This one's bigger, so I think it'll be okay, but let's go ahead and grab, I'm just going to grab some cobblestone, 48 cobblestone. Let's see. Boom, boom, 48, just name it, filter. And yeah, so I'm gonna do this, get this all working, and then I'm gonna start looking for caves. And that's what I do for the rest of the episode is caves and dig out the nether. All right, everyone, I'm wrapping up the episode. If my voice sounds a little bit different, it's because um, I changed some settings on my computer. It also looks like it's peaking, so this audio might just straight up be scuffed. Uh, but essentially we are done with this episode so i'm wrapping up now here at the nether we are almost all the way done with the dig as well so we're at 44 i want to get to y level 40 at the or by the end of or beginning of next episode um, I've, I've made a couple decisions so first off um we're going to continue to shrine to cave around the um the overworld <clears throat> we did a couple hours of caving last or this episode it, it did a ton. Um, the mob drops are a lot better now. But we're going to do a lot more caving as well just to make sure that we get more and way better uh, rates. The other thing that I decided is next episode we're going to be revisiting the villager breeder and iron farm. So I'm going to build a modified version of Tango Tech's um, mob farm, or not mob farm, iron farm from Hermitcraft Season 7. Um, I don't remember who who made the tutorial, but someone made a tutorial on how to build it step by step. We're just going to follow that tutorial and build it up. But first, obviously, we have to go get villagers again, since somehow my villagers inside of a cobblestone box turned to witches. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, and when it comes to digging out the nether, um, next episode, I should get down to lava level around level 30. Uh, and after that, so the episode after next, I'm planning to just go ahead and tear down this guy slab the floor and just get the wither skeleton farm up and running because i'm just kind of itching and ready to go to build our base in the overworld we need tons of beacons i want it to literally be beaconed from corner to corner so that means that i need several beacons the other thing is we're probably going to have to exp exp ex blah, 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 expand how big the base is because um with the added um height from below it's going to make it so that we have to build the temple up higher, which is going to make everything taller. Uh, and that means that which, what my original design was, the walls for each layer is going to be a little bit too high for my liking. Um, so what we'll probably go ahead and do is just uh, add out another layer and then each tier, I guess you can call it, will be a little bit smaller. We'll just have to figure out what the tier, uh, 
what to fill the second to last tier with. Uh, we'll figure that out as we go as well. Uh, but I think that's essentially all we got. The last thing that I might have is that we're probably not going to upgrade to 1.18 until after uh, everything gets updated for it. So um, replay mod and what's it called? Replay mod and Optifine. Whenever those are officially supporting 1.18, that's probably when we'll update. I'm not thrilled about having to cave even lower after we did hours of caving, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah. Also, this episode is going to be out probably around the time of the update, and I'm going to record next episode also in 1.17, obviously, and that one will definitely be out during the update. So um, just so you guys know, these are somewhat pre-recorded, but that's essentially it for me. Um, that's my plan for the next couple episodes, so I want to thank you all for watching. If you're new, please comment, like, and subscribe. I make these videos essentially every week, along with some new videos here and there of other games. So um hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys all for watching. This has been Ethan on a cutter. Have a great day. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out. See you in the next one.